So I bought this uh, 1997 Honda 4man 400. I'm going to change the oil and see if we can modify the the binge the winch controller I ordered some stuff for that I think okay so 13 is for the Four-wheel drive, I think, because I only ordered one more one. Well, this is for another Honda engine. That's the winch relay. Nice. <laughs> so I've never done this before. And we have the oil filter behind that, maybe. But the drain plugs, the drain plugs. Hmm. This o-ring is, is a bit shaved, not sure it's the right size and it feels, it looks thicker than this one, but I think we will take it off. Yeah, that seems really good. Outside towards the filter cover. Oh, and it's a spring on the inside. There's an O-ring here, that's sealing here. Oh, I don't have a new one for that position, so... But 
we'll try. Should not be torqued that high. I always try to exchange the wash <coughs> the washer on these since they're actually the seal. Some brackets and this in out controller green and black, so that goes there, red battery, I guess, and So this is the Vinge control and there's no relay, this is uh, I guess high amperage switch. So these are some sturdier wires going from, from the battery to this one and then towards the the winch. Okay, so pretty much we should put the 
switch the relay instead of this one but I don't want that here so Power when ignition is on. Interesting. That's plus battery plus. These are marked red battery plus, uh, black battery minus, and winch. This one goes battery plus. So oh, let's test this. Lights off. Less power. Okay. So that's the wrong order. Good. Then we know that this is jello. This is blue. And this is red. I don't know why I picked up green, because I don't need that. Now we just need to figure out where to put this. Put this. And hopefully, hopefully we don't have to tear down too much of this beautiful machine. in order to find a good spot.
Hidden. Is it quite? I don't know what that's for. Or is it? Okay, so now I figured it out. This is the uh, on off relay for the winch. So we have power on this one, I guess, when we turn on the ignition. And then these, this red wire is coming from the battery, feeding this black wire uh, with power. So that's actually quite good because then we have everything we need except ground or battery minus here in this area and I'm going to I think I'm going to put the relay up here let's see how that goes but this installation something has to be done with this one because uh, yeah it's going to the insulation on this wire is not good at many places so it's quite a miracle that nothing has happened yet so before starting with this i disconnected the, the battery minus connection so that we won't have any problems sort of thinking that i'm going to move this I don't think this was maybe the best possible way to install it and the battery plus cable was not the best one I've seen so but not good <laughs> Not even close. I have little faith in those two small screws, so I'm going to mix up some epoxy glue because that was pretty much all I had. Doesn't need much, just more than nothing. Yeah, I think that's pretty good.
Maybe not the perfect solution. I don't like the wiring. Maybe I'll redo those later, but I'm kind of out of time for this project right now. I, I put the ground wire on this bolt and my idea was to get some new wire for the, for the battery plus and the ground, but I will, I will connect battery minus to this common ground and this goes to the the relay and I rewired this move this here uh, so now I'm going to put it together again and uh, because I don't have the wire I need to go from the battery up to here but I think this bracket is going to work really nice uh, it's just this I'm not that proud of, but so I went and got some more cable. I wasn't planning on doing this today because I had some other things I wanted to do, but now that we have this cable, this wire, I'm going to hook up the winch and finish this uh, rebuild of the, the winch electrics. So let's tear it, tear it apart again.
so this is 10 square millimeters and I think this is the right one yep and I have this sheep tool and has some markings here that says 10 okay let's try that looking through these I didn't have I only have one red so I don't think I'm going to go with orange so we're putting an orange stripper cable tie Switch. So I took the panels off this side because here we have kind of the cable holes way. Uh, the cable and holes highway. So instead of going here where one of the cables wires for before I'm going to go with both on this side and I think that would be much better so I put some electrical tape on this part uh, since it's not as protected as up here I don't think I would need it in this area So now I know this is the battery plus and it's going onto this one. It's going to be attached to that one and we're going to do a common ground point here. So that's going to go down there and then we're finished. I didn't have any any of these for eight millimeter bolts so yeah had to be done this way today
I would say this is a decent upgrade to this electrical system. Could be done much better, but now the, the stuff is out of the way and we have new cables that's hooked up and tied down better. I wouldn't say properly, or I, I might have already said properly, but I think it's this is a better solution than what we had before. And we get we got rid of the clunky switch on the tank, so let's put it together and test it. When working with batteries, always disconnect the the negative side first. Uh, on vehicles like an ATV or a car, the minus is the negative side is connected to, to the chassis, and that means that if you mess about with the tools when you're at the positive side, then you can by mistake actually short the, pl the, the positive side to the to the chassis to the ground and then yeah it will spark a bit but you will try to avoid that The screw is a little, little too short, a little bit too short to reach down to the to the nut. So I'm pushing in a, a piece of a, this scrap piece from a cable tie, and that should probably be enough. So if you're new to the channel and you haven't figured it out yet, English is not my native language and I kind of just wing it.
so I'm going to finish this video here. I'm yeah. Feels good to have this out of the way. I don't know if this placement was the best here. Would have been nice, but attaching to this yeah, felt kinda sketchy. Still much better than the one that was over here. Overall I think this is machine is working good and the engine sounds better now with new oil in it maybe I should probably order some more of these plastic rivets and uh, maybe uh, look over the steering it's 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 a little bit wonky but it's no problem driving, I think, as long as it holds together. Yep.